everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the naloxone kit and why I think it's important for you to learn to administer naloxone. So let's get started. If you want to gain more information about nursing or to improve your nursing skills in general, please consider subscribing down below. I upload a video every single week and you don't want to miss out. All right, so why do I think the naloxone kit is so important and why do I think it's so important for everybody to be trained on how to administer naloxone? Well, you think about it. The overdose crisis has gotten out of hand. Every single day, there's more and more deaths due to overdoses. And you know, you could make a difference in someone's life. And personally, I'll share two experiences where I have saved someone essentially by giving them naloxone. So the first time I ever used naloxone was actually when I was working as um, MOA, a medical office assistant, or a medical assistant to a physician at a clinic. And I got my, my naloxone training. I wasn't a nurse at that time, I was a student nurse, but I did get my naloxone training and in that clinic specifically, there was a, there was a doctor who prescribed um, suboxone and therapy, he provides suboxone therapy for patients who were um, addicted to certain drugs and stuff like that. Anyways, long story short, the patient uh, crashed while I was sitting at the office. The patient started all of a sudden, I saw him drooping to one side and all of a sudden collapse onto the ground. Now obviously he didn't have the facial droop and all that stuff like a stroke. He just had some sort of respiratory depression. And this patient actually, what he did was he went into the washroom. He took a very long time. He made a lot of noise. So he may have, you know, shot up some drugs while he was in there. And then he came down and sat and as he was sitting, he was, he, all of a sudden I noticed that he fell over onto one side and he wasn't responding. And I quickly went and got the physician and the physician was busy and he said, you know, I, I don't have time to deal with this right now. Give him some naloxone. And I immediately went back to the time where I first got trained to administer naloxone. So I grabbed the syringe, it was pre-filled already and I quickly ran up to him and I, and I shot the uh, injection to his thigh, then all of a sudden he woke up and had some respirations again. But that moment of unconsciousness was very, very scary for me because I never had, felt, I never had seen a patient do that before. And the, the actual physician came out after maybe like around five to 10 minutes no, probably less, around two to three minutes, and then saw the patient right away, and we called emergency and all that stuff for the patient. So that was the first experience I had with naloxone. The second experience I had, I was actually with my wife, Nicole, and she was, we both were traveling to Vancouver Island through a ferry, so we were on this ship, and unfortunately, Vancouver Island has a lot of cases of overdoses and there's a lot of drugs drug use substance abuse and while we were on the the ship we got we heard an announcement saying oh is there a nurse or is there a healthcare professional is there a physician you know the one you stereotypically hear at a uh, at an airplane if someone's not feeling or not yeah at an airplane if someone's not feeling well they ask if there's any physician or nurses around and you know obviously i go there and I help them. And in this situation, I, I listened to the announcement and we both went down to someone who looked like they were having some sort of respiratory depression. They didn't have many rests and they were right outside the washroom. They just collapsed and from what we know, the patient just collapsed and his friend was there at the time and he said, um, he said to us, yeah, he just fell over and his friend was kind of shaky and jittery. And so I asked the, the, the person, Hey, did you, what, what did this guy do? Did he take anything? Did he take drugs? Because you never want to give anything if you don't know that they've actually taken it right in, in this situation. I wanted to make sure that the patient actually, or the person that was 
not getting enough rest was actually because of substance abuse or it may have other reasons maybe other reasons and his friend who was there at the time said i don't know and i don't know and he kept denying it because he didn't want to tell anybody obviously and i told him listen I'm a nurse, I'm not here to arrest you if you use substances. All I wanna do is make sure this person's safe. That's all I care about. And eventually he told me he used cocaine and at that moment, a few moments after that, he all of a sudden, the person that was lying on the ground just went into respiratory depression and fell over and wasn't didn't have any rest. And we immediately gave him the naloxone that Nicole had prepared we gave him the naloxone and then all of a sudden he he had um, rests again and we continued to obviously monitor him and make sure that you know he was safe and once we got over to the ferry over to the Vancouver Island the hospital members the ambulance took him to the hospital which he just got treatment for so what I want to stress in this video is naloxone can be very can be life-saving and you should try and teach your friends and families if you are a nurse how to administer naloxone so i'll show you a picture here of a naloxone kit it typically comes in this usually they have pre-filled syringes and they come in a needle and oftentimes you want to give this medication through the thigh kind of like an epi pen you want to give the medication through the thigh and Generally, the routes that you can give naloxone or Narcan is through intramuscular or subcutaneous fat. Obviously, in this, in a situation, an emergency situation, you just want to smash their thigh with the injection and give them the medication as soon as possible to, you know, hopefully save their life. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know, have you guys dealt with naloxone? Have you used naloxone? I'd love to hear your stories as well. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I taught you something. I hope you enjoyed it. And if I did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Please make sure to also check down, check down below the description box. I do have various links that you might want to check out. For example, I have a free fitness guide, I have a free nutrition guide, and I wrote a free ebook where you can download where I talk about the NCLEX and how I pass the NCLEX and a specific 45, 45 day plan what, that you can utilize so that hopefully you pass the NCLEX as well. All of this is free. You can check it out in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video, guys.